This RC car has some of the worst ratings ever. Let's find out why. At first glance, it doesn't look too bad. The styling is decent, uh, but the controller? Yeah, it feels like it was made for much smaller hands than mine. It takes five AA batteries in total. Let's power it up and see how it runs. At first it moves fine, but after about five meters it just dies. No steering, no throttle, nothing. That explains the terrible reviews. Inside it's just a single cheap circuit board doing all the work and clearly not doing it very well. So let's give this car a new brain. We're upgrading it with an ESP32, basically a tiny super cheap computer. It can control motors, read sensors, and unlike an Arduino, it comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Oh, and it's cheaper too. The car has two motors, one for steering and one for driving, but the ESP32 can't power them directly, it would fry instantly. That's where a motor driver comes in. It think of it as the muscle that takes instructions from the ESP32 and does the heavy lifting. Now for power. The ESP32 needs either 3.3 or 5 volts. Our batteries give about 4.8 volts, which isn't ideal, so we add a voltage regulator to drop that safely down. If that doesn't work, another option is a buck converter, which can step the voltage up or down to a stable 5 volts. With the old controller cut out, we're left with just the motor and battery wires. That gives us room to mount the ESP32, the motor driver, and the regulator neatly inside. Before adding the controller, let's test the circuit. Over USB, I can type values straight into the terminal. A for the drive motor. Works perfectly. Same for steering smooth and responsive. Circuit checks out. Now for the fun part, adding a PS4 controller using a library called BluePad32. It supports a ton of controllers and does all the hard work for us. To get BluePad32 running, we just need to set up the ESP32 in Arduino. Open preferences, paste in the board URL, then install ESP32 and BluePad from the board manager. Select the ESP32 dev board, load the example controller sketch, and upload it. Full step-by-step -step is linked below. To pair, hold down the share and PS buttons until the light flashes, then goes solid. That means it's connected. Back in the console, we can see live data streaming out. The throttle, the brake, every button, even rumble, all working. I've got a custom sketch for this car, fully commented and free on Patreon, but for now let's just test steering and throttle. The left is to put the cover back on and get it rolling. And just like that, the car has a brand new brain. The range is way better, the response is snappy, and it feels like a completely different RC car. Next time I might even upgrade the controller itself with an ESP32 for crazy Wi-Fi range. If you have made it this far, you should totally subscribe. Thanks for watching.